Well, have you stoked up, Sluggard? It's time to hit the road again. <laughs> Be right with you. Well, <laughs> someone's approaching in a stealthy manner. <laughs> Come out and meet your doom like a gentleman! Uh, where are you? <laughs> oh, it's my squire. What brings you here, Slippy? Please don't Slippy. kill me. It's a job. Slippy, will you please? Please don't kill Stop me. Stop quivering. <laughs> now then, dismount and tell me why you're here. <laughs> I've been following you for two days after a bit of a late start, and now I finally caught up with you. Well, I give you leave to go back if you want, Slippy. This is a very dangerous mission. <laughs> oh, no, I'd never do that. I'm Sir Sean Braveheart's loyal squire, and I'll stay with him. Stout lad. Stout lad. Very well spoken. You left in such a hurry, Sir Sean, that you forgot much of your armor. Oh, just what I needed. More weight to carry. I also brought along your undershirt in case you get wet or cold. That was well thought of. In fact, when my noble steed sniffs clover, I do get cold and wet. Did you say clover? <gasps> What's with that pea brain? If I may be allowed, my noble sir, uh, it is most dangerous to allow gastropods to ingest clover. Their behavior becomes unpredictable and irrational. Well, well, learn something new every day. Uh, what was that funny sounding word you used about my lazy snail? Gastropod, that's the official scientific name for what sluggard is, a snail. Well, now I officially rescind the permission to go back that I had given you earlier to go back. I can plainly see that you're going to be very oh, useful you, to me on this mission. Thank you. I think you're going to be indispensable. Now, go fetch my armor. Right away. Here you are. Hmm. Now, unhook the cart and leave it here. We won't be needing it. You'll travel a good deal lighter and quicker without it. Go on, go ahead. Do it now, Slippy. Yes, sir! <laughs> you made Harry very happy! Look at them. <laughs> Report, Rodat. There hasn't been a sound or movement for hours. We could attack now. You're right. Kids, you're going to be the assault force. That's us. We'll do whatever needs doing. Yeah. You're going to have to overpower and disable the two guards at the entrance before they can raise the alarm. You can count on us, Rackle. Once we're through, we'll send you a signal with a torch. It's almost as though you read my mind. <laughs> Very well. I will be waiting here. This is the place where the five cavaliers of nature will come. Then we will join forces and free Aurora. <laughs> See ya. Let's go, guys. Good luck, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> able to gather some helpful information at that castle. We might indeed, except for the fact that it's Maya's castle. Oh, don't you think I'm justified in calling it just the teeniest bit scary? There's nothing to be afraid of, Slippy. Go on, go, Slippy. Hang on. <laughs> yeah! to the attack!
good job, aren't they? Excellent! <laughs> Look, Rodat. I do believe our brave troops have carried the day. You're right, Prince. I wish the Cavaliers of Nature would hurry and get here. No sooner said than done. Look! <laughs> Are we too late? No, no. You're right on time. It's a pleasure to see you again, my noble companions. Where are your five little friends? They're in the cavern, searching for Princess Aurora. Well, our duty is plain. What are we waiting for? We should be right there with them. No, the time isn't right yet. We have to wait for their signal. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find some way of getting rid of that garb. Ooh, time for me to go off duty. Where's my relief? The union contract plainly states. <laughs> 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 Signal torch going! Why is it taking them so long? They should have given the signal by now. I hope they're all right. Mm. Uh oh. 
Like that. <laughs> well, you never asked. Let's get going. What? Uh, Since when does the mount give orders to the rider? I take back all the nice things I was saying. Hm. <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh boy, you sure had me fooled. Hmm. Huh? There's an intruder around. Yes, yeah, the Countess coming home a bit late after her banquet. I know her footsteps the way I know my own. Yeah. It's an intruder. I said you oh. Look, there's the signal, Rackle. Very good, boys. It's up to us now. Come on, we're going to free Aurora. To the cavern, go! Wonderful job, guys. I'm very proud of you. I never had a doubt, not for a minute. We make a remarkable team. <coughs> a wonderful team. Anglin, you'll bring up the rear. Right. Watch out. <coughs> Hold on. Huh? That way. <coughs> A little light would be a good idea. Our brother can take care of that. <coughs> we must find a way to get past that grill. Well, that shouldn't be so difficult. <coughs> of the light. I want you guys to stay behind and form our rear guard as before. Right. Very well. Now we can uh -huh. go. Circles are at their 
fullest power. We will not allow them to stand in our way. Got any ideas? We have it all worked out. Don't worry. Water Brother, you know what to do. Yes. I hope you do. Maya, and I'm here to give it to you. Where we left off. So far, you've told me that the prince I'm looking for is named Rackle, but you haven't told me how to find him. Now, where is he? I've said all I'm going to say, even if you cut my tongue out. She'll be furious enough as it is when she finds out we've merely told you his name. How the two of you like to be covered with about a foot and a half of snail slime? I can tell you that Countess Maya plans to capture and imprison Prince Rackle because he's the only one who can foil her plan. And now for the important part. Where do I find him? In the forgotten lands, the land of the Dinosaurs. You're doing very well. Now tell me, where is this land of the dinosaurs? I have no idea whatsoever, Noble Sir. I swear it by all I hold blasphemy. He's telling the truth, Noble Sir. It's beyond all known lands. Beyond all known lands, hmm? Well, in that case, we have quite a journey ahead of us. Sir, you really should get rid of the habit of leaving it everywhere. That's the joy of having you around. I can forget things. <laughs> you do. Well, it looks like it's time for us to hit the road again. Let's oh, get moving. Right. I'll get everything ready. Hey! <laughs> Come on! Please, I'm tired. Before you I wouldn't go. want our death by starvation to be on your conscience, <laughs> would you? Oh, <laughs> Since I cannot find the right words to praise your courage, I'm going to name a star after each of you. Well done indeed. <laughs> Hooray for the five little cavaliers! Hooray! 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 <laughs> My train of light and energy will carry you all home. <laughs> 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 